Hi students, this video lecture is mainly for KTU students. KTU is Abdul Kalam Technological University, Kerala. In this video, I am handling the subject Basics of Electronics. This subject is meant for all the branches of KTU except Electronics and Communication Engineering. For EC students, they study introduction to electronics. So all branches except EC should study this subject basics of electronics. Every subject in the KTU consists of six modules. Here in this subject also we have six modules. Module 1. These are the topics covering in the first module. In this video, you are learning the first topic, evolution of electronics, impact of electronics in industry and in society. Introduction Electronics is a branch of science which deals with flow of electrons and their effects in materials such as vacuum, gas and semiconductors. So this branch is dealing with flow of electrons in materials such as vacuum, gas and semiconductors. It is an offset of electrical engineering. Previously electronics was under the branch of electro electrical engineering there was no separate branch of electronics after the tremendous advancement of electronics in the market it becomes a separate branch the major difference of electronics from electrical engineering is that electronics deals with low range of voltages and power such as 1 volt, 1 millivolt, 5 volt or 1 watt, 10 milliwatt etc. Whereas electrical engineering deal with high voltages and power equipments as we all know like 100 volt, 230 volt or 1 kilowatt 100 megawatts etc so very high voltage current and power is used in electrical engineering unlike electronic engineering evolution of electronics the evolution of electronics is mainly through three components the vacuum tubes the transistors and the integrated circuits that is ICs. First one is the vacuum tubes. The electrons will flow from one metal conductor to another conductor through vacuum. This phenomena is called Edison effect. John Fleming applied this theorem Edison effect in inventing a two element electronic tube called vacuum tube or vacuum diode. So we can say vacuum diode is the first electronic component which is invented by John Fleming. Lee D. Forrest developed a three element tube called vacuum triode. These components were then used in Applications such as radio communications, telegraph, telephone, etc. The second component is the transistor. In 1947, transistors was invented by a team of Nobel laureates, John Bardeen, Walter Bratte and William Shockley of Bell Laboratories. This invention revolutionized 
electronic industry due to its features such as a lightweight, less power, reliability, low cost, etc. Since the invention of transistors, electronics become an unavoidable thing in the industry. The big, big components in the circuit is replaced by the small, lightweighted component. The, the third stage is the integrated circuits or ICs. In 1958, Jack Kilby of Texas Instruments introduced the idea of integrated circuits in which large number of electronic components could be fabricated on a single chip. That is, you have a single chip inside that chip you can have many number of electronic components such as transistors, resistors or capacitors. This marked the revolution of microelectronics. This advancement in chip fabrication is accordingly called small scale integration, large scale integration, very large scale integration that is SSI, LSI and VLSI. In SSI, you have 1 to 10 transistors in a single chip. In LSI, you have 500 to 20,000 transistors in one single chip. And in VLSI, you have 20,000 to 1 million transistors in a single chip. Can you imagine 1 million transistors in a single chip? impact of electronics in modern world there are lot of applications for electronics in different fields we can see a few among them electronics in industry there are plenty of application of electronics in industry first one we can say here automatic control system you may be seen in factories everything is automatic from one stage to another stage, a product is manufactured without the supervision of humans. It will come automatically. One stage is completed, it will go to the another stage and the third stage like that. Otherwise, you can say, if you go, go to an office, doors are opened only if your fingerprint matches or your RFID tag is matched. These are a few examples of automatic control systems in industry. Another example is lighting system. There are a lot of lighting systems that when a person enter, lights are automatically on and when all the people are goes out of the room, the lights are off. Same thing like security systems like fingerprint scanner, iris scanner, this kind of security system you can provide. Third one is the computers. We can see computers in all, uh, anywhere in the industry. See, computers are used for calculation purpose, solving problems, storing records. These are the few examples where computers are used in industry. Next one is electronic robots. We use robots in hazardous places where human are not able to be deployed the robots will go there collect information do some task etc next application is in the field of communication and entertainment in the field of communication we can see we are holding many electronic devices such as mobile phones laptops these, are, these devices are used for communication purposes. Other than that, the cable TV, television, fax, telephone are a few examples of electronics in the field of communication. The, another one is information passing through internet or video conferencing, email, Bluetooth, like that. In the field of entertainment, we can see music players, video games, social media, etc. Next 
area is medical field. Medical field is a big area where we use electronics, such as in health care, uh, like calculating the pressure, monitoring the glucose level, to count the steps when we jog, etc. Other equipments like what we see in hospitals like ECG, EEG, CT scan, MRI scan, etc. Then keyhole surgery, telemedicine. What is a telemedicine? Is a doctor from a foreign place like America or Britain used to operate in India without their physical presence. They will be doing uh, in video conferencing or kind of electronic methods. Electronics in the field of instrumentation. Instrumentation is the area where you measure something. Like you can measure the temperature, pressure, uh, stress, that kind of thing. So the devices like CRO, DSO, strain gauges are used for that. Then speed governors in traffic law enforcement the police officers used to measure the speed of the vehicle using speed governors etc next one is cctv fingerprint identification in security system etc the other field is defense we know that in defense we use radar for detecting the target we can identify where is the target, how far it is, and even we can trace the speed of the target. Then other examples are sonar, then wireless phones like walkie-talkie, then missiles and rocket launching equipments are uh, controlled using electronic devices. Okay. In the perspective of KTU, the questions to be asked in this topic is like what are the different applications of electronics in the field of defense or in the field of medicine or in the field of instrumentation like this. These are a few questions asked in the previous year university examination. Write any four application of electronics in the field of defense. You know that radar, sonar, mobile wireless phones rocket launching etc write any four application of electronics in the field of medical science you can say x-rays uh, mri scanning health care uh, glucose measurement etc any four application of electronics in the field of instrumentation instrumentation you can say cro dso uh, then uh, strain gauges, uh, CCTV, fingerprint, these are the different applications. Okay, thank you.